All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Thoughtful Entrepreneur. I am your host, Jen Amos, and I am really excited to introduce you all to my guests. We have Jazz Takkar here. He is the co-founder and CEO of REC Canada. He also is the host of the REC Experience podcast. Jazz, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Jen. I'm very excited to bring uh, as much value as I possibly can to your listeners today. And, and, and just a big kudos to you, Jen. And, and, you know, I say this to everyone who does a podcast, um, does really any type of content. Um, mm -hmm. I, I do approximately 15 to 20 pieces of content daily on all the mm. platforms. I know how hard it is to get guests, to line it up, <laughs> to bring the energy, to be positive, and, and, and you, you're doing that. And so just oh. congratulations to you. Well, thank you, Jazz, so much for saying that. And I really have to give a credit to Josh and the team. I'm not doing this alone. I just got to show up. I got to show up and have a great conversation with people. And when they told me that's all I had to do, I was like, I'm here for it. So thank you so much for saying that. And yeah, definitely shout out to the uh, My Influence team. If it, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have the luxury of just connecting with people. Well, big shout out to the team as well, Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, no, I appreciate you saying that. You know, I think in today's times, I feel like it's very easy for, uh, it, it, it's, it's very easy for just a lot of people to consume, um, you know, consume content, consume media. And as content creators, I have come to take it as a form of responsibility to put good stuff out there. You know, it's so, it's so very needed. And I know you know that. Um, and so I just want to acknowledge that. And, you know, for me, yes, it's a lot of work. Work, but at the same time, it's that sense of responsibility that gives me the motivation and really the excitement to keep showing up, like knowing that I could make at least one more person smile or at least one more person feel like, wow, I really needed to hear that today. Thank you for, you know, doing that episode. You know, look, I, I, I love that. And, and, and I try to push as many people to do content. And, and I think where you know, maybe about two years ago when I really heavily got into creating content, I was, as I was telling people, okay, get started with content. I think I was, like, I, made, I was making a huge mistake at that time because it was like, oh, get on video mm. or, or, or you have to do a podcast. And as I've come to realize now, there's so many different ways of producing content. And, and if you just naturally are, are more happier or you like to do like drawing cartoons. Um, like mm. I have animators on my, on, in my media squad here. And, and if I tell them to, to do a podcast or do a video, they'll be like, what are you talking about jazz? Like, <laughs> I'm not doing any of that, but naturally they can, like they literally hand draw uh, a little cartoon characters of my, of me or my team and stuff. And so to anybody who's listening right now, um, the imp importance of producing content, like why content creators say that it's important is because it really is the gateway to, to opening up doors for you that you don't even realize that are there. Mm. Now, I think contrary to what, again, I believed at the start of it and what still is like, like you know, there's, there's a lot of people pushing that you have to do video. Mm -hmm. Well, like there's so many people that are not comfortable doing video. So right. why not? True. Like, why not do like, not, as, not, as, not everyone is as good looking as you and I, Jen. So it's hard. <laughs> it's you know, true. But, it's true. Like, I'm, you know, but, but like, 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 um, like, like even our charismatic or like to do it or yeah. if you're scared to do video don't do video there's i guarantee there's something that you're naturally really happy to do either audio if it's not video drawing mm -hmm. taking pictures um um the written word like people are like right. oh nobody reads anymore wow mm -hmm. well there's a there's a website called medium.com that has over 150 million users a month. That stat tells us that mm -hmm. there's a lot of readers still. So right. start producing content. Uh, my world changed. Like it was the, it was the game changer for me, not only in my business and we'll get into that, mm -hmm. but just my life. Like, like mm -hmm. this is so cool. I'm, I'm speaking to you. Like even with us at the time of this recording being in a, in a lockdown um, yeah. during the pandemic here, like we're still able to do our thing. You know what I mean? And we can, yeah, thank we God. Can, we don't know who's listening, where they're listening. So I love what you said there, Jen, like just that one person, you know, and, and, and I started producing content and it's just uh, specifically the podcast. I was just like, 
I don't know who's going to listen. First, it was just my mom. Um, <laughs> but then it was like, who, like just, there's, just, there's a 16-year-old boy in Rexdale. That's where I'm from in the north part of Toronto, mm. which is a little bit of a rougher area, um, but really gave me my thick skin. But there's mm. probably, I'm hoping there's a 12-year-old boy or a 10-year-old girl listening and saying, wow, like, yeah, I can maybe do something. Like, that makes me happy. Or, right. or like, they got the real virus that I like, which is positivity and optimism, that they felt that. Yeah. No, I I absolutely love that, Jazz. And I think for content creators, uh, just like what you said, the number one thing that most people think about when they get started is, is anyone going to see this? Am I going to get a lot of likes? Am I going to get a lot of shares? Am I going to get a lot of engagement? But let me tell you, sometimes it's the content I see with the least engagement that really touches me. And so you have to think about that um, as a content con- uh, content creator and put yourself in the perspective of, of a consumer is that it's not, I mean, yeah, social proof helps, you know, but popularity isn't everything, you know, pop- popularity doesn't always equal profitability. And really sometimes just that one message can really, you know, resonate with one person and you can change someone's life. You just never know. And you, and, and the only way to find out is to do it and be consistent and to show up and, you know, to do it unapologetically. And think about like re- relationship building, right? Where your, your best friend, probably whoever just kind of came into your head, as I said, best friend, it's, it's it's the depth that you have with him or her, right. not necessarily the quantity of time that you spend, right? It's that right. quality, that the depth. And so for me as a content creator, um, till this day, and even when I started, um, mm-hmm. probably even more now, because like I'm getting on a lot of podcasts and stuff like that, and people are talking about and all that kind of stuff. But for me, it was the depth, like because mm. I I was always in the real, like I've been in the real estate business for 15 years, mm. and so when I started this two years ago, um, I just wanted some type of like I wanted my clients to have tools in their toolbox to make introductions for me when they're at a dinner party or or they're speaking to their neighbors outside in the backyard and if somebody wanted real estate advice at that time I wanted them to only think of me right and Mm. so but the only way of doing that rather than I mean you could do the old school old school style which is call them and door knock or, or, or have your face on bus shelters and all that. And no knock on anyone else's business model. In fact, I did all those things when I started 15 years ago, but right. now my clients, like, like I don't even ask Jen anymore for my clients to, to buy, sell or invest with me. All I say is, can you just let somebody know about the podcast or my Instagram profile or Facebook or whatever it is? I'm, because tr- truly the podcast specifically is like my third child. I got a six year old. <laughs> <laughs> like it's my baby like I've seen it grow right and it's like yeah. just tell people about the podcast because Mr. like whoever my client is when they introduce when they tell their friend neighbor or colleague and they watch or listen to the podcast they'll make their own decision if they like my style they might look at the right. screen and say you know what I don't like the fact that this guy's a realtor but he doesn't wear a suit so they'll never come into my world. And that's right. awesome. And that's okay. I, that's you know okay. I'm, like, I'm not wasting <laughs> their time. They're not wasting my time. Right. But it's I've been so refreshing to have so many people come through my door here at the office and they've already heard or seen. And now that ice is broken. Like we're not right. like I'm not trying to build up authority and or credibility. I kind of did a little bit. I'm not talking about like they walk in here and like, oh my God, like it's not that. It's 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 okay, we kind of heard what you have had to say, Jazz, before. Yeah, we right. liked it. Now we want to get to know you a little bit more. But right. like in the past, I was I spent, let's just say I was in a meeting or a consultation with a client for an hour. I'm gonna say like 40 minutes of it was me just trying to build up credibility. <laughs> <laughs> now, now my meetings are 25 minutes long, okay, mm-hmm. like 30 minutes max, and and two minutes is the the rapport building. How are you doing, Jen? How's the family? Da, 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 right. da, da, all that kind of stuff. Then the rest is let's build out your portfolio. What are you thinking mm. of doing? And so um, uh, just to kind of come back full circle for anybody who's thinking about creating content, you're not sure. Wow, I hope this is the moment that you're listening to myself and Jen, and it's like you're going to do it. Try not to let this be another time where it sounds like a great great idea, but then Saturday happens. 
things. And you know <laughs> what I mean? And, and, then, and, then, and then you don't do it. Just do right. one piece of content. And if you're scared about the camera, please don't do Because I, like, exactly. I, I am a little bit bullish. Like uh, right now I got this rant that I like to go on about, <laughs> about, about, about people trying to push others to do video because they're selling some type of course around um, um, uh, video production, mm -hmm. teaching people how to do video. First of all, if you want to learn how to do video, there's an amazing website called YouTube. Just go there <laughs> and you'll learn how to produce, how to do video. Um, but that's not the only way to produce content. Yeah, absolutely. No, I appreciate you saying that. And uh, one more thing I want to add is, you know, if, if not for you, do it for someone that you think you could touch, you know, do it for that person, do it for the, for the older version of yourself that needed this. You know, they say often like if, if how to define your avatar, you think about who you were before you got what you got, you know, before you found, you reached your level of epiphany or enlightenment to do what you're doing today. So anyway, we dropped a lot of marketing knowledge and a lot of content uh, creating knowledge. And uh, just like what you said, Jazz, now I'm curious after building all this rapport for the first part of our conversation, I am very curious now to know what are you doing with that content uh, with your company at REC Canada? So it's a really cool little uh, um, organization and culture that we've built here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, literally about two hours uh, before you and I got started, um, I was with uh, my 34 realtors and 10 support staff. We were doing uh, kind of a new photo shoot, a very COVID friendly photo shoot, believe it or not. Uh, we wanted to wow. make sure that, yeah, we, we went outside and the, the, the photographer set it up and um, I have a business partner. Mm -hmm. now of about 15 years um we we focus our all of our efforts on on the greater toronto area so for your out of province and out of country listeners that's about a 75 kilometer radius that my 34 realtors and 10 support staff cover mm. and we help a little over 700 buyers sellers and investors every single year um uh, we just got awarded well for 2019, uh, the number one team in Royal LePage Canada, which is out of about wow. 22,000 re uh, realtors. And, and, and I'm very proud of that, uh, more mm -hmm. for my team, um, because I know how much they work and, 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 and how grueling this business could be. There's, you know, in that 75 kilometer radius, Jen, believe it or not, there's 55,000 real, real estate agents. Like I always joke, like if you throw a stone, you're gonna hit a real estate agent here, right? Like <laughs> that's just what it is. Um, and, and, and my 34, um, um, not all necessarily like veterans and been at it for a very long time, but you know, I got out of the 34, I have about uh, 12 of them that have been, do been in the business for 25 years. Mm -hmm. But I, I just like watching the growth going back to the culture. Um, and we have a lot of fun here, um, you know, obviously with the content and we'll talk about that with the podcast. We do yeah. things a little differently. Um, we're very hands-on with our clients, white glove service. That's something mm. that we mm -hmm. really like to hang our hat on. Um, um, and then out of that 700 deals that we do every year, half of them are with investors. And so the niche that, um, and we're not the only firm, but I think we're probably one out of four or five in the country that focus a lot of our time, effort, expertise, content on, on investment real estate, creating wealth uh, and, and using real estate as the vehicle. Now, mm. we're not and this is just from a personal perspective, I decided not to have REC Canada really speak too much about the get rich quick in real estate, only because I've never done it myself yeah. and my business partner, Simos, we've never got rich in real estate quickly. It's mm -hmm. the boring. So what we really teach, and so if somebody follows our content and watches it, it's the boring stuff. Like we, I say <laughs> it all the time, getting like wealthy in real estate is like watching paint dry. <laughs> However, it's probably one of the most guaranteed ways because we real estate's not going anywhere. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So as long as you hold on to it for a long period of time, you can you can you can do some creative creative things with real estate. I.e., um, you could refinance it, pull out equity, and then buy more. You can rent it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, and then what we, the, the macro strategy that we speak about is buying and holding. And so what that's allowed us to do it going into that niche, working with investors mm -hmm. is a, a neat thing happened about, I can say about seven, eight years ago that as we were speaking with investors, they didn't know that we also help people get their first condo, their first home, what we call smart sizing. So if you live in a bigger home and you want to downsize or mm. you need to get into a bigger home because you live in a condo now. Um, but when, what, what, what 
the neat part was is as we sat down with investors like like guys do you like my niece needs to buy a condo is that something that you guys can you refer us to somebody mm -hmm. and i was like oh no we handle that as well and so we started to get a lot of peripheral business working with investors and for us i mean our investors are multi-transactional right and so mm -hmm. they'll generally buy two in a year but if they don't do if they don't get to the second property in the within a 12-month period they'll definitely do like one every year for the first three, four years because real estate in my opinion real estate investing um and, and obviously i'm biased but um it, it really is the best drug like you get addicted to mm. it right and it's so, all it, because you want to you you see what starts to happen within your portfolio and how much money you, how much wealth you're creating and so um that's what we started focusing our content around which was yeah. i'm gonna bring on guys and gals that 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 either are are just starting and like to showcase to the rest of the world that we all breathe the same air. Mm -hmm. We all essentially put our pants on one leg at a time. <laughs> that if somebody else is doing it, you can too. And here are just regular people investing into real estate. They too were scared mm -hmm. till they did it. Like everyone is scared to do everything, you know, until right. you actually do it. And so then I also went to the other extreme. I'm going to bring on guys and gals that have a thousand doors, like literally. A, over a thousand doors in real estate and i'm just going to sit down and talk with them but i'm going to do it in my style i'm going to be very authentic yeah. um we're gonna sit down i don't have like a, a a piece of paper from any of the schools like after high school i was done um i, I just <laughs> it wasn't i didn't learn like that um yeah. I, there's there's like school's important we need doctors lawyers engineers and all that kind of stuff for me it was just not the way that i learned i learned through personal education meaning like mm books, seminars, workshops, mentors. That was really a big part of my life. And then now podcasts and, and audio books, because I, you know, I hear it a lot and I'm sure you do as well, Jen. Like I just don't have enough time. Right. Which I understand for a lot of people. I mean, we have, we all, a lot of us lead, lead very busy lives, but you can apply what, what I started applying about 15 years ago, which was net, no mm -hmm. extra time, NET. So when you're driving, you can listen to a book. You, you know, in fact, here in the greater Toronto area and really any in, in any major city around the world, the average person commutes equivalent to a four year degree in university. Wow. Imagine how much you're sitting in your car like you can do like I'm not against listening to music. I think that's very important. It changes your state and or listening to sports talk radio or whatever it is like you can use these things as escapism, mm -hmm. but you don't always have to listen to music. You can right. put on a right and so i i knew that 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 i needed to learn and I, I just wasn't learning from a school aspect like in roles with teachers and so that was kind of my backstory yeah no jazz i i think that is absolutely awesome i i feel like even if i had any questions you answered like all of them <laughs> at this point and there's some key things Girl, I, I tend to go off on a lot of tangents and stuff <laughs> as well it's just my style very effective but i apologize oh, <laughs> no no don't apologize you you were doing me a favor trust me i always love it when people are talkative because it, it's less effort for me and then i get to summarize what you said you know so you know, Jazz, I can tell why you are successful. You know, I can tell why you've been in the industry, the real estate industry for 15 plus years and you have an incredible team. It, it, to me, it just sounds like one, you're a servant leader. Um, and actually, actually, even before that, you are a student of life. Like you learn, um, you learn from life, you self-educate, you go on YouTube if you have to. And, uh, and, and therefore, and, you, and you, act, you, you act as like an example to your team from what it sounds like. And you really focus on being your most um, authentic self. And so I, I really feel that energy from you and appreciate you. even in just the couple of minutes that we're talking, um, I can tell that you are a great leader to follow or a great, you know, a great boss to, to work for. So, thank so really you. thank you for take, taking that moment to, um, I, not really moment, that this whole time to yeah, <laughs> drop a knowledge and inspiration yeah, and pep talk for I, us. I really, really appreciate that, Jen, you kind of noticing and, 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 and the kind words. Um, um, you, you said servant leader, like it truly is that for me. Um, you know, my 34 realtors, they're, 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 they're independent contractors, meaning mm -hmm. that like they don't have to be at the office right. or whatever. They, they're out there. In fact, 
they're probably, they don't come around like the actual office often because they're out meeting clients, they're showing right. homes, they're doing deals. And so, you know, we're phone calls away and all that kind of, we have it set up really well. In fact, my business partner will lead, will, will, will kind of lead the trainings and so on and so forth for our 34 realtors. My 10 support staff though, as you, as we were giving big shout outs to um, your squad on your side, they're like, the, the, those 10 guys and gals, like they're really the shoulders like that I get to stand on because mm. they're here on a regular mm. basis. Um, they allow me to a be myself, but they also understand that like I'm making up some of this while I'm going, you know mm. what I mean? Like I don't got like, I understand like other businesses and I do reverse engineer what works well for other businesses. But at the same time, I'm making it up as I go. Like and what I mean by <laughs> that is that, is that I, I come in with an idea and put it on the whiteboard and I'm all got like, I'm ready to go. But then another idea came up in my head that needs to take precedent. Not that, not that, not like, I, I am kind of like a mad scientist in that sense, but I also want to make sure that I understand what's very important mm -hmm. in what needs to be done. And with my, with those 10 people, it's always about reverse engineering what they need. And so right. I'm like, I know when one of them walk in and the way they say hi to me, I'm very mm -hmm. like, I'm more on, I'm more on attitude than skill because skill can be taught. Now that doesn't mean I don't, have talented people and or I'm not looking for talented people. I think you need to have some talent. Um, but <laughs> just because you're the talented person here, like the most talented person, that doesn't mean you're going to work here because you need mm -hmm. to play nice in the sandbox with everybody. And right. I, um, that's what I'm looking for, especially for my veterans, the ones that have been around me for now five, six years. And when I bring in a new person, the new person is going to generally for the first month, six months, year, they're going to be playing nice anyways. Otherwise right. they probably can make it through the interview process, but mm -hmm. it's my older veterans that have been with me. I'm making sure that they don't put on their, 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 you know, go on some type of power trip or mm. just be like, well, I've been here longer, which none of them ever speak like that or more importantly ever act like that. But I'm always watching for that. Um, and so, as I mentioned earlier, we do have a lot of fun on it daily basis here like we eat a lot i like to feed people like, <laughs> just a Love cultural it. thing like you come to my house you know my mom's yeah. not gonna let you go until you eat something it's yeah, the same that's my thing mom too. Too. <laughs> yeah i know same <laughs> thing um you know and, and 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 i could feel the group right and so we went through in the last 90 days i did three product launches meaning three condo new condo launches and we did a little over 74 74 units we sold in the last 90 days mm -hmm. that drained the crap out of my team like i could mm. tell and so in between each launch i gave them off a couple of days i fed them more we opened up a couple of bottles of vodka and some mm. wine and some beer nice. here at the office played some music hung out got away from real estate we left the office a couple of days just to get people out because mm. I, I i'm a big believer the second that they're taken care of like we're we're not dead we're not as deadly as i believe we're going to be but we're we're, we're like on the cusp of it like then we're right on the surface of how how much we're capable of and for me it's because of those 10 support staff oh incredible jazz i feel like uh, we can talk forever i could listen to you forever um unfortunately all good things must come to an end <laughs> and act you know also if i think this is just a good teaser for people that if they uh, felt really compelled to hear from you um they'll definitely want to reach out so uh, so this again again we have jazz takar who is the co-founder and ceo of rec canada uh, which is a real estate center you could visit his website at jsta let me say it again, J-S-T-A-K-H-A-R dot C-A. So that's Jazz Takar, or that's Jazz Takar dot C-A. Um, or you can listen to his podcast at R-E-C Experience Podcast. Jazz, it's been an absolute pleasure having you today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you, Jen.